What is up guys, welcome back to another interesting video. Alright, almost 2 years ago I made a FPS boost guide for Valorant especially for low end computers and laptop and it got so much popular and it is currently the most viewed video on my channel. So when I was making this video I wasn't expected to get that much viewership but I'm glad it helped out so many players. But surprisingly after 2 years later it's still getting views and still getting comments every day asking various type of questions from me. So I think it's the best time to update this guide and also add some more optimization and also answer some of the frequent questions that you guys ask me. So that way if someone comment on my old guide, basically I can link them to this video which makes things much more easy. So without further ado guys, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, before moving on, I want to explain some of the basic things that I'm going to do in this video. First of all, when I make a tutorial, I usually test all the settings that I'm going to do in my low end laptop and show you the exact result in real time. I think that is much more important rather than only showing the settings like in most YouTube tutorials. So this will be the complete in-depth guide to FPS boost in Valorant. So I will include all the steps that I previously mentioned in my old video as well as some more optimizations and more steps so ultimately you don't have to watch both videos first of all i have to mention i dedicated this video to the low-end computer and laptop users who are playing valorant with very low fps and struggling to play the game so if you are someone who's having a mid-range computer or even a very high-end computer and you are playing valorant with more than 200 or something fps so you don't have to actually watch this video so if you are someone who playing this game with around 15 20 fps which is very unplayable and i'll be helping Help you to get at least 70 to 80 fps or sometimes even 100 plus fps uh, depending on the map all right first of all i'm going to categorize this video into three parts uh, the first one is the basic window settings that you can do and the second one is the in-game settings and the third one is the more advanced optimization in my last video i get tons of questions asking do these steps works on nvidia or amd graphics card the answer is yes even though i'm making this video uh, considering the intel hd graphics because that's the lowest graphics that i can actually get my hands on but it still works on amd nvidia or any type of graphics all right guys first let's go through the basic windows settings first of all make sure you're running the latest version of windows 10 or windows 11 and we are considering about low-end computers here so if we have to choose between windows 10 and windows 11 i would go for windows 10 because it gives you more stability and performance but most importantly make sure you're running the latest version and having the newest update is extremely important all right next up is your graphics drivers you have to upgrade your graphics drivers to the latest and if you are usually someone who is using Intel HD graphics and upgrade your windows, it will automatically upgrade your graphics drivers as well. But if you don't know how to upgrade your Intel HD graphics drivers, let me show you real quick. Right click on your desktop and open up the Intel HD control panel and then go to the options and support. As you guys can see, I'm running this with Intel HD 620 graphics and i5-7200U CPU. And at the bottom of the left side, you will find the support button and in here, you you will find an official link to download the latest Intel HD drivers. Open up in your browser, go to the graphics section and then select the graphics that you have Intel HD graphics in my case and then select the graphic card model and then scroll down the page and you will find the latest drivers and software section and here you can download the latest drivers and install. And if you are using Nvidia or AMD graphics card you can do the same uh, from their website and I will link everything in the video description. Alright the next step is for the laptop users uh, and if you are gaming with your laptop make sure to connect your power cable that helps you to you know limit remove all the power limitation of your computer sometimes if you're playing on your battery the windows may enable various power mode to save the battery life it will probably cut your performance in games so make sure to always connect your power cable when you're gaming all right now open up valorant and see how it performs on the default setting on intel hd graphics without any optimization as you guys can see i'm running the game on 1080p low settings with every effect disabled and i'm getting around average 15 fps while recording using the obs which is literally unplayable and also throughout the video i used the practice range to be consistent uh, with my benchmarks and also as you guys can see this laptop has 8 gigs of ram which is extremely important to even to play very low end games in 2022 so imagine having 4 gb of ram and you probably won't get uh, more than 30 fps even all these optimizations so if you are someone having 4 gigs of ram and upgrade to 8 gigs would be the best upgrade that you can do all right now close up the game and go to the windows and change up some of the settings 
All right, guys. First, open up the task manager and see if there is any unnecessary programs that running in the background, and make sure to disable and close out. Then go to the startup section of the task manager and see if there is any unnecessary programs that starting up when the Windows is booting up. Disable everything unnecessary, but make sure to not disable the Vanguard anti cheat system. Otherwise, you won't be able to play well. Then search up background applications on the Windows search bar and make sure to disable all the background applications that eating up your system resources. Then search game mode on Windows search bar and open up and you will find the game mode here and make sure to enable it and also up there you will find the Xbox game bar make sure to disable it. Those will definitely help you to clear up some of the system memory especially if you are running with 4 gigs of RAM. Alright next up search the power and the sleep settings on the Windows search bar and open up and then go to the additional power settings and in here select your power plan as the high performance mode and also go into the change power settings option and then go to change advanced power settings and in here make sure your Intel HD graphics settings are running on maximum performance. Alright next up open up your Valorant installation folder and find Valorant exe file and right click and go to properties and then go to compatibility tab and in here you will find the disable screen optimization option and make sure to enable it and at the bottom you will also find the change high dpi settings option open it up and make sure to enable the performance high dpi settings according to the application all right once you've done that close it out and search the graphics settings option on the windows search bar and open it up and depending on your system and you will find a option called hardware accelerator gpu scheduling or something if you have that option make sure to enable it in my case my laptop doesn't support that but that's okay in here open up the browse option and direct to the valorant exe file and add it here once you've done that open up the option and select the high performance option this option is especially helpful if you are running the game in the laptop and you have two separate graphics options for an example if you have intel hd graphics and also some dedicated nvidia graphics so in that case you have to select the nvidia graphics that's the most powerful one so in my case it's the intel hd 620 graphics all right once you've done all these options make sure to restart your computer and now you can open up the valorant and also when you're running valorant you can also uh, open up the task manager and change the priority of the Valorant EXE to the high which let the windows uh, allocate more resources of your computer to run the game better which will ultimately uh, give you a smooth experience with much more FPS. Alright guys, now open up the game and change some in-game settings. First of all, go to the video section and under the general tab, you will find the resolution. In order to get the maximum FPS, we have to drop down the resolution to the lowest. So 1280 by 720p would be ideal. But if you want to drop it even more, you can go for 1024 by 768, which is a 4x3 resolution. So if you don't like it, stick with the 720p. After that, we have to disable all these FPS limitations because we need the maximum frame rate that we can get. Alright, then go to the graphics quality tab and then set everything to the lowest settings possible and disable every unnecessary options and settings pretty much copy everything that i'm doing here all right then go to the general settings tab and find the show mature content and make sure to disable it it will remove some of the unnecessary stuff rendering in the background while we're playing the game Alright, now as you guys can see, I'm doing all these optimizations and now I'm getting around 30 to 35 FPS on the practice range, which is pretty much double the frame rate that we have previously, which is nice. But as you guys can see, my CPU is almost at 100%. That is because I'm recording this gameplay using OBS and it will eat up pretty much most of my CPU usage. So without the OBS recording, I'll be getting around 40 to 45 FPS, which is decent. We still need to get more FPS. So let's move to the advanced option. I'm only recommending these steps if you have very low end computer and you still doesn't get enough FPS to play the game. So if you are already getting around 70, 80 FPS, I recommend you guys to skip this step. All right, in this step, we are going to change the resolution scale of the game. Usually in most games, a resolution scale bar is given in the in-game settings so that you can easily change the resolution scale to whatever you want. But unfortunately, Valorant doesn't have that option. So we have to go inside the config file and change these options. All right, guys, open up your this PC and go to the view option and make sure you are enabled showing the hidden files. Then open up your C drive and go to users. And in here, you will find your a computer or laptop's name, username. So open up that folder, then go to app data, local. Scroll down and find the Valorant folder. 
then go to save then config and in here you will find a folder named with weird numbers and letters in my case i have two folders because i use two accounts in this laptop so if you are playing valorant with your single account or your main account you only gonna have a one folder with these weird numbers and letters so open it up and select the game user settings file and open it up using the notepad all right in here scroll down and you will find the option called resolution quality and change the number here to 50 instead of 100 which indicate that we drop the resolution scale by half so if you are comfortable with you know you can put this to 70 percent or 80 percent 60 percent whatever you want but i'm not recommending go below 50 because it's gonna be incredibly hard to see enemies in game all right once you've done that save the file and right click and go to properties and make sure to set this file to read only mode Alright, now I'm in game and as you guys can see I'm running this game on 720p with 50% resolution scale and I'm getting around 45 fps while recording using the OBS. And also my CPU is at around 100% as usual because I'm recording this gameplay using OBS. So in order to see the real FPS numbers we have to cut down the OBS in this case. So I'm gonna record the gameplay using my phone and show you guys the real FPS numbers. Alright, as you guys can see, I'm recording the gameplay using my phone right now and I'm in the same area of the training map and I'm getting around 70, 80 FPS, sometimes even 100 plus FPS depending on the area. And also my CPU usage is chilling around 70 to 80 percent, which means I can play the game without any FPS drops or lags, which is really nice. And I have to agree, the graphics quality aren't the best here, but getting around 80 to 90 FPS rather than playing with 30 FPS is much more important in a game like Valorant. Alright, as you guys can see, I'm in a real match right now and I'm still get the same amount of FPS depending on the area and I'm guarantee you can play the game much more smoothly and hit your shots even though it's a little bit blurry. So that's pretty much it guys and I hope this video helpful if you are playing with a low end computer or laptop and struggling to play Valorant in 2022 and this video is took some time and effort to make so if, if this video helpful to you in some way, please make sure to drop a like on this video and if you have any issues with it and also drop a comment down below, I'm really happy to help you. And Previously you guys asked me to do the same kind of a video for Fortnite as well as Counter Strike so I'll be bringing more updated guides like this so stay tuned for that as well guys. I'll catch you guys in my next video, stay safe.